Hello everyone and welcome to Big Num Numismatics. Uh, today is Christmas Eve and I'd like to wish everyone watching a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And today we're going to get into a little why my channel name, uh, my Instagram handle, and my username literally everywhere across the internet when it comes to coins is Big Nub. Uh, Big Nub is my cat, and she is a Manx. And you can see, Manx cats have no tail, just a nub. And since she is a large cat, I decided as a child to name her Big Nub. And so today we're going to be talking about Isle of Man cat crowns. Isle of Man is a pretty small island in the center of the UK and Ireland. Uh, the Pop Joy Mint, which is on the island, is a pretty uh, substantial mint when it comes to minting commemorative coins, uh, bullion, uh, it does mint special issues for a lot of countries, and they are popular. Uh, these cat coins were minted in copper nickel, gold, platinum, and in the later years, they were mint, uh, they were colorized. So Littleton isn't the only one getting some extra money out of painting coins. Uh, minted from 1970 to 2016. Uh, this is a great series for younger kids to collect. Because who doesn't love cat coins? Uh, 1970 is the first year, so they featured the famous Manx cat on the obverse. And Elizabeth on the reverse. Uh, some of the cats are Burmese, Norwegian, forest cat, British short hair, Persian, New York alley cat is actually one of the breeds listed in this series. Um, they all have relatively low mintages usually below 1 million. The 1970 Manx cat, Copper Nickel, has a mintage of 150,000. The Silver Proof, is, uh, it only has a mintage of 11,000. So it's a bit scarcer to find. And you may be wondering why there's some um, unattractive toning around the uh, rim. And that's because the... I'm not sure if they're considered British, but the British Commonwealth likes to put velvet in their uh, original government packaging. For uh, coins, at least in the 70s, 80s, 60s. And while some of the coins can tone really nicely, like in the uh, Silver Jubilee Elizabeth set, um, a lot of times it leads to this unattractive tan yellow look. Price range for the copper nickel ones is pretty low. Uh, it's about eight to fifteen dollars, which, in comparison to some of the Churchill dollars and other crowns that are quote unquote commemorative, circulating commemoratives, 
it is quite high, but with mintages in the mid to low millions, um, I think it's a decent buy. Uh, the silver proofs are going to run you around 60 to $80. Ones without terrible toning or ones that have toned very well, nice blues, reds, those will command a much higher premium. And of course, graded examples vary by grade. Usually 68s in the proofs are top pop. You don't get the MS-70s and 69s of United States mints. Um, the gold coins, um, when I first started collecting these went for around 60 to $80, but gold was around 1400 then. So now they're going to run at least a hundred bucks, hundred to 150, depending on the year. Uh, and the platinum and colorized are going to be whatever they charge. Um, platinum's been relatively stable at 900 to 1,000. So you're probably going to look at around half to 75% of the gold price. Uh, thank you all for watching. Merry Christmas, and I hope this introduced a new series to you. Maybe you can collect it, maybe your kids can collect it, and it's a pretty cheap and fun series. Thank you. Bye.